Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. So last time, um, we dealt with, uh, our first raiders. So, got some, some equipment here. It, quite a bit actually. How many people did we deal with? I don't remember. Do we have any prisoners? We have one prisoner, one dead body. Maybe we also buried a different one fairly recently. But also, there's this, uh, crazy fire that struck uh, rather close to our base. I don't think that's gonna cause of it, cause us any problems. I don't think it'll, I think it'll die out before it reaches us, but that's still a little bit frightening. And, um, we're pretty, pretty low in regards to our metal resources, but we do have this huge surplus that, uh, our people just need to go ahead and pick up. So once that's done, that'll be very good for us. Let's go ahead and swap to times two. So basically, what I'm going to be doing um, in today's episode, I, I th we definitely need to increase our our defenses. Oh no, fire's getting a bit closer. I still don't think that one will cause us problems. In all honesty, even if it burns our garden out here, I think that would be fine because I kind of want to get rid of these starting now because we have our we have our indoor garden that will um supply most of our stuff so let's honestly let's get rid of all three of them like uh the, they'll manage the plants right here but once those are done i'm pretty sure they'll stop uh bothering with them in fact is he just getting rid of them all no 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 he's making piles of food and this fire's dying down that's good for us but yeah we want to increase our defenses because the next couple of attacks from our enemies will be um Probably a lot more threatening than the ones we've had to deal with so far. What do we have for research? Uh, I don't really want to work on any of those right now. Let's see. What's going on with you, lady? You you ready to join my squad of lovely people? Uh, her happiness is pretty low, but her loyalty is getting up there, which is obviously a good thing. So let's see. Also, we gotta build this freaking geothermal generator before too long. That's gonna be something that'll make me very happy. And we also should probably start walling out this whole area. Um, so we won't get any more, like, cave-ins and stuff like that. So you know what? Let's actually... Here, how about this? Go to orders. We'll cancel mining all that out. Because there really is no point to mining any of this out anymore. Um... Now, at least for the time being, now that we've gotten all those resources, let's, uh, mine this out right here, and we'll start building, um, additional rooms, because I want to build more rooms for, uh, our people to sleep in, and we also need a communications room, that's one thing we need to work on, and, uh, um, ah, uh, fine, I'll start a research project out, might as well. Oh, that's actually a really good one to do to increase our mining capacity. And we also need an equipment racks move, room uh, before too long. Let's see. Um, structures! Let's get a building. We'll put two walls right there, door in the middle, and four spaces make up the room. So one, two, three, four. So put two more right there. And then do that. And okay, that that should be able to that should be enough room for uh, our people to be happy in. And actually, speaking of keeping our people happy, I I like to add a lot of lamps. Like, well, we could we'll only have one in there since that's the prisoner room. That doesn't need to be really bright. But I like to put like two lamps per room just to make it uh, bright enough for our people. A drifter named oh okay one of these a drifter named Buffy has arrived and is joining the colony. Oh my god, I've actually never seen that happen before. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> I've seen uh, random travelers stop by, but I've never seen someone stop by and immediately join the colony. That's really cool and obviously really good for us. It sucks that she's really hurt, but nice that she already has a gun on her. That's freaking wonderful. Let's see, Buffy, what are you good at? We could use another grower. So let's just go ahead and make her one of those, I suppose. Um, yep, that's all she needs. She's definitely not an ideal person to have. The only trait that she's really good at is plant uh, plant cutting. But, you know, it's, it's never bad to have additional people. 
I would actually, you know what? We have enough plants going on. You are going to be, uh, I, I, you're going to be maintenance, focus on maintenance stuff. Um, so you'll just be repairing and hauling and cleaning. That sounds fine to me. That Then she could actually pick up all that metal that's in there, which will uh, obviously be very good for us. And she needs to build a bed so she can actually sleep. Right? We do need one more bed. Yeah, need colonists' beds. That's the one unfortunate thing about this situation right here. Oh no, I put a wall when I didn't want to! Uh, sell! Sell, I command it! There we go. But that's the one bad thing I would suppose. We can actually sell that as well then, and uh, start actually putting the lights into this room. How do we want to set up the lights in here? I like putting one in the... Actually, you know what? Since that light is there, we'll go light and light. Try to make it uh, look symmetrical, or at least symmetrical as I can. Um, And put a bed right here. Bed! Bed. There we go. I was just, like, misclicking, apparently. And I also need to wall off that area, because otherwise she's not gonna be happy, because that's not gonna be her own public room or anything of the like. So let's see. And a door. Ah! I don't have enough resources for a door. Doors are freaking expensive in this game. I cannot believe they go for 25. But that- just that one pickup got us to 97, I think it was? Now we're at 72, because we obviously used some more resources. But basically, uh... We've got a lot of resources, which is very good for us. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have put metal plating in this room, because I'd prefer that to be carpeting in the future. Um, so that was wasted resources, although I believe we do get them back when we sell them, which is really nice. Let's see. We can fit one more room, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, one, two, three, four. So you go there. And then wall it off right here. Wow, we made the perfect amount of space for that room. I always feel really proud of myself when I um, set something up to the proportions that I want them to on my first try. I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a clever man inside. Yay. <laughs> Let's see. So once that's all built, we, we should actually build the next bed and the lights as well before I forget any of that. That means we could get rid of one of the beds out here. We still have three people living in this room, which is unfortunate, um, because I want everyone to have their own room, except for the prisoners. The prisoners can live in multiple rooms because they can suck it, because <laughs> I'm, I, I, I don't care about their happiness to a certain degree, because obviously I care somewhat because I want them to join my team, but, you know, uh, prisoners don't need to be as happy as my settlers do. I want to make sure... I'd rather have a, a prisoner go psycho and try to kill me than have one of my settlers go insane and try to leave. Even though technically the prisoner could probably end up being more of a threat, but you know, who cares. Also, just to make things look nice, I'm gonna put a second light in there. <laughs> That's more, um, me wanting things to look cool and somewhat symmetrical rather than um me caring about that okay we got some more raiders we got holy crap that's a lot of them for this early that's not good um wow isn't this the second raider attack i haven't played this for a good couple of days so i might just be remembering things wrong but I thought this was our second raider attack, which is obviously very scary, very frightening that they're in such high numbers at this point. Um, and we only have three turrets to defend ourselves with, not as many as I would prefer for the amount of enemies that um, we'll be facing before too long. But actually, first off, let's see how much of a threat these dudes actually are. If they all have pistols, they won't be that bad. We have... Ooh, an M24, a pistol, a pistol, an M24, and an M24. These are a pretty threatening group. They don't have any explosives. Like, one of my least favorite things to come up with in, in regards to the enemies are ones with explosives, because those can threaten you very easily, very quickly. Um, 
Like one one grenade throw on any of the turrets will like destroy it instantly, uh, which can obviously lead to big problems. Like they're easy to dodge in regards to our people, but anything that's standing still, it's very scary. So I don't know. Right now, I'm not very happy with that at all. That's a very scary force, in my opinion. And um, I also don't really have the metal to fight them off too effectively. We could keep mining on into here. Honestly, I think that's what I have to do. I, I, I think I have to keep on mining. Um, I mean, but then again, we do have this surplus right here. And do we have any other surpluses nearby? That is a huge surplus of metal. Um... So we'll wait until this combat section ends, and then we'll deal with them. One thing I should say in regards to how I'm going to handle this Let's Play, uh, unless I deem something in particular, uh, un unless I change my mind about a, a particular situation, I think I'm going to handle this like XCOM um, Iron Man mode. In the sense that I'm not going to resort, uh, resort back to any previous saves. So anything that happens, I'm, s I'm stuck with it. <laughs> so if we kill all these dudes and destroy them easily, I'll be very pleased. Okay, here they come. Might as well just save beforehand, I suppose. Um, just to get things going. Oh, uh, really should have picked up this pistol, actually? I don't know why I didn't think of that. Does everyone have equipment? Dr. House doesn't. And that- but that lady does. Dr. House, you're gonna go and grab this pistol right here. There have been so many fires in, like, this location in this episode. It's kind of weird. Okay. I'm very afraid, in all honesty. And I think I have a good right to be afraid, because that's a lot of dudes. A lot of very scary dudes. Okay, they're getting somewhat near. Basically what I wanted to do right here... Oh, Dr. House, get back, you fool! <laughs> um, I wanted to... Uh, let everyone sleep as long as they can before calling them into battle. It would be nice to get Buffy out to fight. But she's, um, pretty wounded. Not horribly so, but just a couple of shots would do a lot to her, so I'm going to keep her out of this one for for the most part, for now at least, and, and let's line everyone else up. With our turrets, we certainly have the advantage in regards to numbers, but, you know, it's, it's this is going to be a scary one, I think. Let's line um, a couple of dudes up with the turrets. Hmm... I feel like I'm really... Uh, once I get some sandbags out here, lining my guys up defensively will be much easier. But for the time being, I, I feel like I'm really... Could be really... Making really poor decisions in how I set up my crewmates. Let's see. So I really have to watch the health on these things. Because if any of the turrets go down, that's what's really going to cause some serious problems. That one's already severely wounded. Let's see. Who is our main repair dude? Everyone repairs things. But Buffy is, like, our main one who's solely doing jobs like that. Who has, like, no jobs at all? We'll take rid of mining on, uh, Dr. House. Oh, oh okay, so Dr. House isn't much of a shooter anyways. But where the hell is he? Isn't he out here? Where is Dr. House? What the hell? <laughs> Where is he? Uh, that's Fra uh, Franco Fowler. Hol oh, he's right there. I'm a total idiot. Okay, Dr. House, you need to fix that thing and fix it now before it gets at risk of being destroyed. Oh, God, okay, that's, an that's a problem. That's a Big, big problem. I should have had someone repair it earlier. That's very frustrating. We need everyone to move. That's likely going to take out both of these turrets. Oh, uh, only took out one. That's a positive. And we took out two of them. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, there's a sniper down there. Who, how hurt are people? Franco should probably be put on idle, let him do whatever he wants, and let's have everyone take out 
Oh, there's two of them left. I thought there was only one. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's see. Franco! Get... You need to get inside. Sometimes... That's some... Oh, Franco! That shot clearly missed! That's really frustrating. Oh, man. Okay, let's have everyone go around here. Okay, we need to pause. Because otherwise, we're gonna make a bunch of really stupid mistakes. Ah! Uh, wow! That's really freaking irritating. Get down there, freaking dudes. I gotta say, though, um, that's something that I really don't like about this game to some degree at where it is right now. Um, actually, here, let's... Copeland, you're gonna go over here. I, well, no. I don't know where I want to set up my people. Um, let me, let me think this out. But, um, we'll line everyone up right here for now. Jesus Christ! Frickin' get to a good location, dudes! Get down there! But when you put dudes on idle in combat, they do really stupid things. And that's, uh, without a doubt, probably my biggest complaint about this game, uh, currently. Um, how, how the idle system works in combat, because they... Really, Franco... When I put him on idle, he should have gone inside where he would have been safe, and then he would have lived instead of just walking down here or doing whatever he was going to do. So, you know, like... Oh my god. We've got problems. We've got problems. This went downhill really fast. Really, really fast. <sighs> Hopefully our flank will work out well on these two, and I need to capture these two. If I don't capture both of them, I'll be very upset. Honestly, I think we might lose all of them here. Also, it would have been nice if they went into cover instead of just standing around into the open. But at this point, I think they need to keep on shooting rather than, um, try to hide. Oh, God. <laughs> this is kind of making me want to go back up. Yeah, what up? You know what? We're gonna load save. Call me a liar and a horrible person, but we're gonna try this battle one more time. That was abysmal. And frickin' annoying, too. Okay, so where is everyone? Actually, you know what? No! No! <laughs> I am a man- oh god. Hey guys, and welcome back. I accidentally closed the program there, so, um, I apologize about that. And, um, it might have been a good thing, because I suppose I- I, I, I shouldn't go back on my word. I'm gonna stick with what I decided, not gonna re resort back to that previous save, and we'll just go ahead and start New Colony. As per that one was unfortunately lost to us in that horrible firefight, I think I just had a bad, um, beginning and should, uh, try to build things up more successfully this time. Now, this is an interesting person. He's can't do a lot of skills. He's garbage at mining, construction, and growing, but he's really good at all three of these. Um, I don't really do melee very often, but it's nice to have a good shooter. Hmm. And I could just have him focus on hauling. So let's go ahead and think we'll, we'll stick with him, and let's have someone focus... Uh, do, can he do mining, though? No, he can't, like, do any of the stuff I'd want him to. Uh, I mean, for, for building and uh, stuff like that. So let's keep focus on getting a grower. There's our grower right there, and honestly, everything else looks pretty good. Should have checked research for our people as well. Ideally, I don't think this can come up very often, but for this person, I would love to get a really good miner who can do research as well. Um, let's just try? <laughs> See, um, hmm. good mining skills, but bad research again. Um, eh, oh, but this dude's seven at research. That's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm I'm fine with this colony. So let's go ahead and jump on in. See what we'll get here in the early setup. So as, as I was saying, I think I just need to uh, pick things up a bit in the early game. Uh, yeah, blah blah blah. We land on the settlement. Uh, yada yada yada. <laughs> So, um, and one thing that I've kind of realized from my play outside of this game is that, uh, immediately 
building a kind of farm is uh, building an outside f an outdoor farm isn't all that necessary and and mining isn't all that necessary either because we do get all these resources scattered around the planet so let's go ahead and mark all these to be picked up right away and so then our, our squad make mates should pick them all up um or at least any specific haulers we have which we certainly do in that first person we got he can't even haul oh no i've made an egregious error <laughs> okay, he's going to be our person on researching then. Wow! That's interesting. This person will be really good at trades and being the warden then, but I don't know if I like Anderson all in all. He's the gun dude though, so I, um, or female, is that a woman? We've got a squad of all women. This isn't set up well to repopulate the earth or whatever planet this would be. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. But we'll give her the gun, since she should be the best firefighter amongst them. And, uh, let's see, um... Okay, so you're the grower, so you're not gonna mine. And everything else there should be fine for you. And since you're the miner, you're not gonna do any growing stuff at all. So let's see. Um, getting ourselves off onto an early start is going to be a little bit more frustrating now... Mainly because, um, Anderson can't haul. He is going to have no job until I get that research table done, which is irritating. I, I, for the early game here, I might as well only have two squad mates, which is rough. Good news is, though, I think we've got, like, a perfect area to set up our base right here. I would love to have, like, um, our big badass entrance being, like, right in this area right here. And we could close off this area and, and call that home, I think. Uh, I, I think that should work pretty good anyways. So let's go ahead and start working on our, our building uh, stuff. We're going to need to haul those things away, but that'll be perfectly fine. It'll only take like a couple of seconds. And we're going to have a couple of... We aren't going to be able to fully build the roof. But honestly, I don't care about that very much. <laughs> um... And this will be a good spot to build solar panels right down here as well, I think. Um, uh, I probably could have planned this out in more efficient ways, but you know, I'd, I I like this perfectly fine. Let's let's um, build get started on building some solar panels. We'll have two, and they'll start lining down that area. And would it be a good idea to like set this up as a battery room for starters? That might be smart. Um, but you know what? Let's, um... Or maybe this will be our food room. This this might as well be our food room. Or food and battery room. I could try and make a, a really nice looking room in that regards. Which I kind of like, in all honesty. Basically, one thing I should mention, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our stockpile area as soon as possible and move it inside. If I set this up as a battery slash food room, I think it would probably be best to have the stockpiling thing right there? Um, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good to me. And then with uh, with that, we could have a, a garden right next to that on the on the left as well. I, I like this setup so far. I actually like it a lot. I... I I definitely think it have come to realize that it is quite a wise idea, in in my humble opinion at least, to build into the mountainside. Like it, it takes up some time having to uh, mine out the walls and stuff like that. But in in the long run, it seems to really work out positively from for you. Um, of course, uh, what I'm saying here is all from my play outside of doing any let's plays for this game because I have played this game quite a quite a bit. Um. A lot more than I've actually recorded so far, which is probably a bad thing. <laughs> so uh, most of my play should probably be recorded, but this game is too darn fun! I love it a lot. Mm. <sighs> Take a nice drink of milk right there. A chocolate milk, to be precise, which is like the nectar of the gods. <laughs> like, I'm a big fan of chocolate milk. Let's see. If we build the nutrient paste dispenser right there, yeah, and we could have two batteries on each side. I think that would look fine enough. And then if we want, we could put like two more there and two more there, and I think that would look pretty pretty nice. 
So let's see. Oh, what's gonna be a huge bummer is we're gonna get a hundred and one of these who weren't able to completely roof in the, the roof messages. Obviously, it's nice that the game keeps us informed about that, but a lot of the time, it's just more of a annoyance to me. We gotta build this nutrient paste dispenser so our people don't starve. Where are you going? Um, it's nice for- oh, they're probably gonna eat that. They're- they're both hungry, right? Oh, that sucks that they're gonna- no, they're just bringing it back! Build the nutrient paste dispenser first so you can eat healthily! Oh, she's gonna eat. That's not good. <laughs> well, um, that also won't be the worst thing in the world, though. Here we go. As long as that thing's built, I'll be fine. We do have a steam geyser right there. But unfortunately, I think I'm just going to, um, hope that, uh, we get one in the mountainside. It, I probably should actually, to some degree, consider building, priori prioritize building buildings outside, because, um, it's easier to uh, pick and choose where the steam geysers that are, are that way, rather than just praying that they'll be somewhere inside this mountainside here, but... You know, like, I th I think having the, the really good defense against enemies and ha being lodged in the, into the mountainside that way is is more important, in all honesty. So let's see. Do a lot of rocks scattered around our home, though, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but not all that bad, um, all things considered. Um, it's nice that the game has this, like, written out message, too, telling me to mark all that so I can mine it. Let's see. Please finish building that. That'll make me feel a hell of a lot more comfortable. Once that's done, I could start actually marking, um, building out some actual rooms in here. Let's see. How, how big do I want to make this room? Actually, I suppose a lot of how big I want to make this room will depend upon how big the, uh... What's it called? It's the stockpile areas are. Okay, so they're that big. I think I'll make the wall one more up then. So let's cancel all this. The reason why I'm uh, building this wall according to... It's right underneath Anderson. Right underneath Anderson. Yeah, that's where it was, I believe. The reason why I'm building these walls according to uh, the stockpile area size is just because I'm going to put the stockpile room next door to this one. Maybe even in the same room. That might be a good idea. Ah, that'd be a pretty big room, though. I could just put a door in between and be fine. This will be my battery-focused um, room. Battery and uh, food dispenser-focused room. So let's see. Uh, oh, before they build that, so I don't waste any money, let's go ahead and put the door right there. That's a perfect spot for the door, too! It lines up with the, the, the nutrient paste dispenser. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm I'm a big sucker for symmetry. Even though, actually, from seeing my previous bases, you would probably guess otherwise. Yeah, here comes all the roof messages. I probably shouldn't even check those until they all pop up. Okay, looks like all the ones that are gonna pop up for now have already popped up. That's something that I hope gets adjusted later on. I mean, obviously, it's really nice that it continually warns you about that, so you would, um never miss it, but it can get a little bit tedious at times, but, um, but anyways, I think we're gonna stop it here. Since I don't know what we're gonna name this place, let's just leave it at Colony 1 for now, and we'll change the name in the future. But, uh, yeah, we, we still have a, a lot to do in the early game. Got put in some lights, move the beds in here. Obviously, we have a lot to do. It's so early, but I mean, like, in, in our early stages, we have a lot to do. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.